All right. Thanks for hopping on, Vianic. Uh, so I was, this is the MR I brought up on the um, Code Review Weekly Workshop. Um, and what was concerning me with this MR now, um, so we implemented the new change where we're keeping button component as a single state, single source of truth for rendering a button under different states. But mm -hmm. now you're basically toggling whether it's displayed or not is what this vanilla JavaScript code is doing. Of do we load the disable view or the loading view of it? It's not great, but it's better than the alternative uh, when it comes to these vanilla JS older parts of the code base. That is some ancient stuff, I suppose. What? Okay. <laughs> I like jQuery, I really do. Um, okay, so we are adding the detoggling. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, okay. So um, this is nice, but usually when we've done any kind of code change, I like to test it, right? We want to mm -hmm. test the code change. So this is now currently void of tests, which isn't great. So I'm going to set a timer. <laughs> Do it. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes and see if we can get a test working in five minutes. Ah, sweet. Let's do it. Let me wait. All right. So I had this running earlier where I added this. I was really trying to get it to show, but this kept happening. So this is what I ran into was you hit this button and this is actually a form post. Like, so it triggers lo reloading the page. Mm -hmm. So for Capybara, it's really hard to validate. To do uh, the reload? Yeah, I'm trying to prevent the load so that I can validate the button is loading now. Um, <laughs> I was just about to say, just place a debugger statement in there, but it's probably not the best solution we can find. Um, yep. So, all right, it's coming back to my mind. My, doing a feature spec, this is not the place to do a feature spec. That's mm -hmm. like, we're testing all front end code. I'm having a hard time doing this in feature spec because the feature is trying to load this thing so it can't find the button. Mm, partially understood. Okay. So, like, if you look at the screenshot, it's after we've already submitted. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I don't think I can use a feature spec for this well. I can't figure out a copy bar way to just say stop loading pages. Mm, I don't have it on the top of my head as well. Um, we would we would need to to check the documentation, maybe to to intercept the the network request kind of something along no, those lines. Yeah. No. So then the other, yeah. So then the other thing is. Well, maybe we could, you know, just unit test this thing, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. It has no unit test. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it doesn't have. Um, what was happened? So I am currently looking into the um MR as well, adding loading state to commit changes button. What was happening before that? There was just no spinner and you've been waiting for the page to reload? Or what yeah. was this? Oh, okay. Because well, it would, it just wouldn't let you do it. Like the form is now loading. Mm hmm understood. And where is the, the spinner on the button coming from? That is render pajamas button component new loading true yeah yeah 
can't. We just come up with a test that is checking if the the loading uh, param is set on the button component. Well, I mean, there's there's functionality of here's the thing of like if I didn't have this line line ninety three, mm. you have a bug because then there'd be mm. no bug. <laughs> it would look really weird. So it's testing, it's testing this initial setup. This is the goal would be to test this initial setup and test this behavior that we're toggling. One is hidden, one's not hidden. Like mm, mm, mm. Mm, okay, but for the for the stuff in the the commit button hammer. That would probably we could just go for the for the property to be set. Yeah. Um so that that should be covered. For the blob bundle, um just thinking out loud here, do we actual need well we could do this. We would need to trigger the tag uh, the, the click event. I don't see a proper way around it probably, but we should be able to do this in jest, shouldn't we? Yeah, so I, I would ideally. almost think like ideally this could be a fixture that we load in Jest, mm -hmm. we load our blob bundle, and we trigger. Oh no, our timer is up. <laughs> um. So yeah, we can create a fixture of this thing, and load it, mm -hmm. and all of that. Um. So I'm now needing to bet way off way out trade-offs of how how can I communicate this to offload it to the contributor or even delegate this to someone. Um, let me try this out. It's uh, it's a great example and a tricky path, like especially since this is a community contribution, we want to be we want to rather over explain than under explain. Um, but also hopefully not solve it ourselves. Like we're like this, that's not, not the intention to come up with a diff. Like here's all the tests, please go ahead. Yep. Yep. So let me, let me do this then. Let me try to just run, let me run this without my respect. Right screen. How does this work again? Mm, yep, looking good. Oh no, let me um specify this 105. That's the new test I was gonna propose. And if I add this, like we'll need to get it reviewed by a test person. Um what is really cool, oh it doesn't like it because I haven't started the GDK. Um copy bar is really cool. Like so we already get under baked into these feature specs the fact that only one commit changes button shows because mm -hmm. Capybara bar will blow up if it finds multiple matches, which mm -hmm. is a really cool feature of it. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's really nice. Um, so like this would give us all the coverage we need. That would be really cool, mm -hmm. but I just can't get Capybara to stop, stop doing its job. Mm, yep, let me quickly understand what's going on. So commit chain ah click click button in 100 113 okay i see yeah that's the that's that marked. and we don't have to care about um the um the aftermath of it because the end will be set by a page reload in this case like we don't care about successful request and then the spinner not showing anymore like yeah. this is just a fresh yeah. reload then Okay. Yeah. yeah, cause and that's already that's already uh handled in other tests. Sweet. So this test is looking well it'd be great, but it fails because copy bar starts reloading pages immediately. So you can't find the button. Because after you click it, it starts loading the page. And it's like, click happy bars. This is obviously a huge race condition. And I want to stop it from doing its thing. 
So I think I could do, I think I can do this. Um, I think I can do this. Mm, uh, doing what? Disabling the form so that clicking the button will still do it, but it won't send any, it won't actually work. Uh, can I try that real fast? Sure. Um, I guess I have the GDK running now. I'm going to set another five minute time before I, so I don't spend too much time on this. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the, the code review weekly workshop. It was a blast. I feel like that was super, there was a lot to learn in there. So especially. I feel like we just scratched the surface of possible things to talk about, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. What I really liked is um, the attendance was super high and yeah, that was good. people being engaged in that topic is fantastic to see. Um... All right. So what I'm thinking I can do actually is, I mean, this isn't great. I just want to give I just want to give like a helpful suggestion. This um, form. Yep, what were you saying? I'm in the meantime just Googling if there is a way um to not submit a form in Capybara. Oh yes. Disabled. Oh um Super hacky idea, maybe too hacky. Um, do, do we have JavaScript available in a couple of hours? Yes, 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 yes. Prevent default. Yes. Let's do it. That's super hacky. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So document. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about prevent default. My intention was to kind of uh, remove the event handler or something. But both should do it. Mm. That's it. That's the magic. Yes! <laughs> yep. There we go. Ah. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. But that's hacky. Uh, but... No, it's not hacky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I forgot how to do this in um, spec files using execute script thing. Yes, execute script. Uh, yes, execute script. Um, I'll just do this. Um, the example I'm seeing does page.execute script, but that yes, we can do that. Either one would work, I think. Okay. Uh so it shows loader on commits changes. And I'm gonna say why. So I've been prefixing my comments with what and why. And like I've been I've been prefixing my comments. Uh I like that. So why um we don't want the form to actually submit so that we can assert the uh, buttons in state. Do we want to replace the query selector with a jQuery selector just to stay, uh, just for the consistency? No, <laughs> not in the test. Not in the test. <laughs> I, you're just messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Um, I wish I could move move this to just one assertion. Like I tried doing have button um, and you could do commit changes disabled true, but mm -hmm. I, couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to in Happy Borrow get that um, selector in there because I really wanted to get, oh, I really wanted to get my, um, that loading selector in there that hey, okay, this is loading button. Does this have any other benefit other than saving a line? No. 
Okay, then I'm I'm for the two lines. I am or two. I am, yeah, I'm uh I'm a read readability kind of guy. So I would want sometimes one liners are you know sometimes they're cool. That reminds me though, I, think I need to update my setting to have like a ruler. Uh okay. Uh is that what they call it? Yes. Are there rulers? What is this? All right. Oh no, my timer's off. Ah, oh, there's there's my there's my ruler. Yay. Uh, what does it do you say? see a little gray line there? Yeah. yeah. This failed. Oh, for the uh, for the line uh, length, that's cool. Cannot read properties of. What is your problem? What do you mean you can't? Um, the thing is, this will probably run. It hasn't headless. loaded yet. Has it? Have you loaded? Your changes have been successfully. Oh no, I did it in the wrong place. Oh no. Oh. What is oh, <laughs> I, I oh we should after we commit the changes. Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, best to first prevent default and then click. Otherwise, that they'll be like putting a helmet on after the crash. That's not a good time. Yep, yep, yep. I love our spec. Copy borrow. Our just give me our spec capybara and jQuery. Man. <laughs> I'll build a multi big company if that. <laughs> um so this says fine. I don't think I need to do this. So I, I kind of copied this from some of these other ones. I don't know if I need this. Mm, what is it? I don't... It's just finding, it's just asserting that we can find something, I guess. I don't think I need that. Yeah, and 114 does not make a lot of sense to me either. What's your problem? Expected to find, oh, it's not checking itself, the half CSS. Uh, capybara assert element has class. Checking for this of the found. Yes, 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 yes. Does not work. Half checks with being inside the element. Yes. Uh, okay. Expect. Gosh, is that really the only, gosh, is that? What are we going to check for? The classes of, is the, is the classes on the element? Yeah. I really want to do my one-liner. <laughs> then go for it. I don't have it though. Oh. I don't, I don't understand. Um, so like if I go to have button and methods. Let me quickly slack you a stack overflow link because maybe I am mistaken, but that seems kind of what we're looking for. Um, happy bar finder options. Given selector and options. What are options? Options, parameters, options hash. Yes, 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 yes. Class, yes, only with matching class. Yes, okay, all right. Uh, I could do this, we could do this. Um, I'm going to try this and then I'll check the thing that you said, uh, but this should be it. Have fun. Um, yeah, just the one you found looks better. So okay. don't, don't you worry. 
Commit changes, disabled, class. I lost my class. Why do I do this? Oh, here it is. Uh, see, isn't that so pretty? It's so pretty. Yes, it crosses my, my ruler, but it'd be okay. <laughs> I don't know, do you feel like 72 seems a little hard for the ruler, like 72 characters? Mm, that's that's an early line break for sure. Is that something you said yourself? Because we, I, I think we do lint for line length, don't we? Prettier will on like our front end files. Yeah. Uh, should we not? Do this right on line one eighty. This didn't did I not save this? Um, what's the error that gives us? Oh, here we go to respond to you. Oh, do I not need a question mark here for half button? How do you write? I guess I don't. Look at that. Uh, See, it converted it already trying to add a question mark to it. Hmm. Try and be smart. I don't know why you would want to put question marks in function names. I have stopped asking those questions in Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, syntax wise, they are some. Yes. Yes. This is so, very good. Stuff. So much better than I thought it would be. Thanks. That's helpful. No worries. And we are just on time. Just wow. Perfect. That is that is pretty, pretty amazing. Sweet. Um, have a great weekend, even though there's some work involved. But yeah. Um, yeah. Looking, looking forward to speak to you next week. And see you soon. See ya. Bye. Yeah.